Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Just got our latest shipment from BattleBox. Let's see what's inside. All right, so we are at Mission 90. Mission 90. And there seems to be kind of like a teal theme for a lot of the uh, items. And looks like maybe a fishing theme as well. So let's jump into it and take a look at what we got. All right, so here's our first item. This is the micro cord dispenser from Atwood Rope Manufacturing. Um, I've seen these before. Actually, I think I got one in a battle box like years ago. Let me open this guy up and just take a look at him. Um, yeah, very similar to what I got in the past, but a cool, very not, but it is a very cool item. So obviously there's your cordage. And then I don't know if you can see right there, but there's a little, a little blade there. So you, uh, let me see if I can release some of the cordage here. So there's some of the cordage. So you pull out a bunch of cordage you need and then just run it over the blade. Now you got your cordage and then you can basically just roll this back and it keeps it nice and stored. So, you know, um, you have your cordage in a very small spool as opposed to maybe like a thing of paracord, maybe this long and maybe a little bit thinner, but compact way to carry some cordage. Value for this one is $12.99 and it comes with a hundred pound tensile strength uh, cordage here. I'm going to give you a couple examples of knots there as well. So that's our first item. Again, value is $12.99. So here's our second item, Charlotte's Webbing Camp Organizer. So you can see we've got a carabiner with a bunch of little like alligator clips there, a couple other carabiners. And you can see on the back, basically you hook it up to a tree and then hook it up to another tree and then you can hang, dry out gear, whatever you want to do with it. So let me show you how this thing works. You can see this is the one end. I basically looped it around till it was snug and then did the clip. And then you can see I've got, this is the cordage thing hanging, got a towel hanging, got a hat hanging. And then the loop over here is basically just, <clears throat> you loop it around and then you, you run it through. So there's another look at it. Pretty cool item. All right, item number three is this tumbler and it's from Toadfish. Cool logo. There's the name on the back. It is very snug when you take that cap off. There's a look inside. It does have the, basically you can close that up so you don't spill it. And the other cool thing is it's got this suction thing and I actually put this when I first took it out of the box, I put it down on my table and I was like, I can't get this thing off the table. So it does stick nicely. Um, I don't have anything I can stick it to here. Maybe this box. So there you go. The idea is if you're out somewhere, you know, in a boat, driving around, whatever, that it's got a little bit more security. It's not locked in. You could eventually pry it off like that. But uh, yeah, cool little tumbler. Like the look of that. Like I said at the beginning, there's kind of a teal theme going on here. Value for this is 24 bucks. I think, you know, 24 bucks for a mug is, it's probably in the range of what you would pay if you bought this at the store, but a little bit more than I'd pay for a little tumbler this small, but still cool, cool item. All right, next up we have what they call the Puri Bag and PG Combo. Now I'm gonna direct you, I'm gonna tell you about it, but I'm gonna direct you to go over to their TikTok page, um, Battlebox's TikTok page that is, and to check out the video. They said that a lot of people have liked this, uh, liked this product, but basically you've got the information here on the back. Let me see if I can find the little packets. I think they're inside here. I saw this video actually the other day. I was like, what in the world is going on with that? So yeah, so you got your instructions there. So you're gonna fill it with the water. You're gonna add it and seal it. You're gonna shake it up and then let it hang for 30 minutes and then twist and get all the junk out. And then you've got water to, uh, water to drink. And then here are the little inside here. Yeah, they're covered in a, uh, covered in paperwork right now, but here's basically what you put into the uh, into the water. So the price for this is 50 bucks. The thing I love about it is that it's relatively simple and yeah, it's gonna take a lot of the nasties out of your water. I'm just looking at the paperwork down here. Let me give you the, the rundown here. So um, treat sediment, arsenic, bacteria, lead, viruses, human, uh, sorry, humic acid, protozoan cyst, and DDT. The unit only weighs six ounces empty and can carry 10 liters of water. So, you know, if you're out and you need to like score some water and there's not a lot of water in another location, you can just definitely carry a lot with this. And yeah, it takes all the nasties out. So valued at 50 bucks, a great item. You know, again, I say this a lot, but people love their knives and axes and flashlights. That's all cool, me too. But having something that's like super practical and can treat water, which is a real lifesaver, obviously, out in the outdoors, great to have that. All right, next up we have a basically a three item set, Toadfish Stowaway Filet System. So you got the filet knife. That's what that looks like. Very nice, ergonomic. Like when you put it in your hand, you're like, yes, I can definitely see how I could use this nicely to filet a fish. Um, back lock there, so press that down, close it up. Carabiner, I was gonna hang this up on my little uh, 
line system I showed you before, but I thought people would be like, why are you hanging a knife? That's so dangerous, which is probably true. So there's the knife. You also get, sorry for bumping the camera there. You also get the cutting board, which opens up like that. You do have a sharpener. I'm not a huge fan of pull through sharpeners, but they do have their, their place for quick sharpening. Um, yeah. So you got a, you got a cutting board and you can see that's probably over a foot by I don't know, 18 inches. So there's our second item again, toadfish, stowaway cutting board, folds up. That's what it looks like when it's all folded. And then it goes into this cool neoprene case. So valued at 106 bucks for the whole thing. That's a nice system. That's not even your knife of the month. So a really nice system. Neoprene, you know, it will, um, if it gets damp, it's gonna dry out pretty quickly. You know, you can squeeze it out pretty easily. It's not like cotton, obviously. But yeah, nice system for uh, fishing and filleting your fish so you can chow down. And for our knife of the month, we have the Mount Olympus Folder from Summit Knife, VG10 for a steel, which I do like as a, uh, a steel, 2.75 inches for your blade. Let me take this guy out. I did look at it and then I reboxed it and rebagged it a bit here. So EDC knife, you can see carbon fiber there. Um, those, you got the gold thumb stud or you know gold colored thumb stud, lanyard slot. Just look at the back. So look at your lockup, which looks pretty solid to me. You know, EDC uh, friendly knife, you could certainly, if it's, it's um, a knife that if you want to like take it camping as a little pocket knife, that's nice. Opens smooth. It's a cool little blade. Valued at I think $109, $109, yeah, even. Which for VG10 as a steel is, is not too uncommon. It's a, it's not a, you know, it's not a 8CR13 or a D2 or something like that. It's definitely a nice, a nice steel. 6.75 inches from end to end and 2.75 ounces. All right, some thoughts on this uh, this particular box. Good. I would call this a really good box. Um, you know, from like average to awesome, good, great, awesome. I'd put this at, at really good. Um, nothing here to me is like a eh, like who could use that? Certainly if you're like, I never fish, well then getting this is probably not gonna be helpful. But you know, if you're doing anything related to fishing and flying fish, that's a nice, a nice system to have um, all set up like that. Tumbler, like I said, a little bit more expensive than I would wanna pay, but it is what it is. Um, cool EDC knife. I l really like the water treatment system. That's a huge win. And uh, I'm pointing over there because it's still hanging up on the trees. But that organization system, I love that in camp. So, um, yeah, it just makes a difference to me to be able to, like, where's my gear? It's also a way to dry stuff out, you know, just, like, throw sweaty T-shirts, swim trunks, towels, things like that over the line to dry out more easily instead of, like, throwing it on a rock or something. So, yeah, I'm liking it. Um, Let's hear your thoughts and your feedback on this box. What do you like? What would you change? Gear that you've tested out that you do like, offer feedback for that in the uh, comment section. And uh, yeah, let's get the conversation started in the comment section now. Hey, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.